in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Campaign Monitor to develop a, an A-B split um, of a, an email campaign that you'll send out. So I've already gone ahead and gone into Templates and downloaded another, another template. So this will carry on from the previous lesson that I gave. And currently, right now, if I look in the templates, you can see that I've got already one template in there. I'm going to add another one now. So I'm just going to go over Dreamweaver and just finish it off. Okay, I've got this template in here. I've changed out the logo at the top, changed the color a little bit, corrected a few bits and pieces on it, and now I'm ready to save that out. Just going to zip up. I'm just going to zip that up. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm all ready to go. So you can see here that I've already I've got a template that's already in there and I'm going to add another one for my AV split. So I'm going to give this a my client 2, I'll we'll call it. I've got my HTML file already. So there's a HTML. So making sure that you upload the template with the editor tags. So I'm clicking on that. Upload that. I'm going to grab my zip. I'll just pull that over for you guys so you can see it all. There we go. Scroll down a little bit. Add a screenshot. This isn't necessary, but I may as well grab it. So I've got one in there. And I'll add the template. Okay, it's just loading up. Great, there it is. So I've got my two templates. Now I'm ready to make my AB split. So this is quite easy to do in Campaign Monitor. All we do is make a new campaign. And when we define our campaign name, we've got this other little button that we can click on over on the right hand side here. And this allows us to be able to add an, a few different options to AB split. The type that I'd like you to create is the email content one. So we want to have two different types of content. You could have um, two different subject lines or um, from different two two different emails there but um, I prefer us to have different content so make sure you change out that one okay I'm going to go through newsletter 2 2 and we'll put a subject in there or we'll say welcome whoops to oops. my client and we'll personalize this by giving inserting a name like so welcome to my client and then we've already got some details in there so I'll leave them as default and click on through okay so now we've got a few more options here we've got our con our content A and our content B so we'll choose this one for the B campaign to go for the A campaign to content. And here I can quickly add in a title and description. I can insert an image. So I've already got an image I set up for my previous one, which I'll just throw in there now. Pop that in. Cool car. Make a title, you know, add a little bit of a description. This cool car and um, click here to view website. And we could make a link, so we could highlight that. I can add a link here, I can put in my Weebly. URL or any URL you'd like, you can change the color, you can do a few things, you could add personal names, emails, dates if you wanted to in this section, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, I'm going to click save. So I'd expect you guys to put in at least three articles into this section. Yep, I'm happy with that. Keep on going through. And now I get to define my B content, so I'm going to do that. I'll click on my second campaign that I've loaded in there and I want to edit this and insert my image 
newsletter, email images, there it is, pop that up. Um, full night scene, and we'll check out the lights. See more images, and then we'll have a bit of a link there. We'll link this off to our Weebly website, do all that sort of stuff. Okay, let's just save this now and see what it looks like. Load it in, looks great. All right, awesome. Preview our mail, find the recipients. Yep, I'll manually put them in. Let us scroll down a bit and I'll just put these in there. So I'm just going to try this with four. You can try it with um, a couple or more. You can put up to ten if you'd like to. Um, going to import the recipients once I've typed them all in. There's some format format guides over on the right hand side to follow. You can see that they've been successfully added. I'll continue, define my AV split. Okay, so here's a bit of information. You can choose what you'd like to track. Usually, you'd like to select a winner via um, how many times it's been opened. You could also be looking for how many people actually click so not just open the ad. Um, you can choose where to position this. So if you had more people in there, then you would be, you could decide um, where this bar would sit. So I've just done the minimum. Um, and you can set up how long you'd like the test to last for before the, a chosen email campaign will, have, will go out. So what's going to happen with the A-B split is you're going to send out a, a sample of your email campaign, you're going to see which one will win, and that will determine what most people will receive. Okay, so the idea of an AV split is to create the most effective email campaign. So I'm happy with that. I'm just going to click next. I might change this time to just two hours, say. Click next, it's going to go off to some. You can change the template if you want to at this stage, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. You could add more recipients if you wanted to, or you could just test your delivery. I'm going to skip the test and go for it. I'm going to choose to send out the campaign immediately. So it's all going to be sent out, and we can watch how effective this campaign is. So I'm going to click and watch my live results. And we can see that we've got two hours left until a, a winner is determined. So I can go back. So I'm just open up we've got a, an email that's been emails, sent out. Sent so out. it all looks good. It's great. And we can go in here and have a look. And you could manually select a winner if you wanted to. So you could select which version. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So have a bit of a, a play around with the A-B test and um, basically use it as a tool to determine which email um, or newsletter that you send out is the most effective and then send it out to the rest of your database. So it's a great way of being able to test that. Uh, thank you for listening. Bye.